Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the FQQ S17 portable monitor system. Now, in full disclosure, this was furnished to me by the manufacturer for review purposes. This is not a paid review. I'll include a link in the description for those of you interested in purchasing one. And actually, right now at the time of filming, uh, there is an Amazon Lightning deal. I believe uh, it's on sale for around 550 US dollars as opposed to the $649 retail price. Price. So, if you have a 15 to 17 inch laptop that you work from primarily on the road or at home or in the office, but you don't have the room nor do you desire to have a multi monitor setup, uh, but still want the capability of having multiple displays, this may be the perfect product for you. Of course, it has HDMI out, uh, 1080p resolution on two 15 inch IPS panels. And that is how we get to a triple monitor because you're essentially going to dock this on your 15 to 17 inch uh, laptop. And then in turn, you will have a triple monitor setup. So I've covered things like this in the past. Excuse me while I actually break the seal. Uh, and for those of you that need something like this, it really is hard to beat. I mean, the only other way to do it is to literally have a multi-monitor uh, setup. And I mean, of course that's doable, but not for everyone. And that is why products like this exist. And I think they make a lot of sense. They are expensive, but think about what you're accomplishing. Um, and also the idea is that it is going to be turnkey. You will not have any other additional products. You've got it all in a single package. Now, FQQ, um, this is the first time I'm reviewing a product from them. They also make a 15.4 inch version. It's more expensive. Uh, that'll set you back. I believe that one is $6.99 when it's not on sale as I get this out of the box. Um, but either way, uh, the premise is straightforward. Uh, you want multi-monitors without having multiple uh, monitors set up. So the first thing you can see is the FQQ carry case. Seems nice. I'm glad they include this. This is a must-have um, when dealing with products like this. Let's go ahead and flip this around. Um, also, the fit and finish, at least that I saw on this, seemed to be really nice. A lot of manufacturers on these, you know, they keep it no frills. It's not very exciting, uh, but doesn't mean that cosmetically it's actually going to look good. I'm glad to report at least what we see. <laughs> we'll see if it matches once I open this. It does look good. Um, I like that they have these um, seals to make it clear that you're getting a new product. Uh, before I do that, to show you the rest of the packaging here, not that it's really explaining anything I have not already covered. So with that said... Let's go ahead and open this up. The packaging is nice too. That's not a given, you know, in these situations. There's nothing to say that they have to have nice packaging. They're really just accomplishing the goal, right? And in this case, well, I'm impressed. So the first thing you will see right here are really detailed instructions from FQQ. I already like that. I think that that's very smart. Too often when we buy products like this from manufacturers we're not necessarily familiar with, Instructions are really the thing that are missing. So I'm glad to see this, and I think any consumer that buys it will feel the same way. So let's go ahead and get into the product. We've got even more in here. So uh, frequently asked questions. I mean, they're covering their bases, and that is smart. Of course, I'm not looking at it. So we've got some screen protectors. Um, good that they include these. One for each display. And the actual piece of hardware. So let me go ahead and lift this out. Uh, and I can already tell you, I dig it, um, because part of what I like about it is that it, it is staying together in a single package. Um, and that's not something that I can necessarily say for all of the devices that do this. Let's go ahead and put that aside for a second. Cables. Now, this is another area that when manufacturers make products like this, they really got to give you everything. You know, the kitchen sink needs to be in that box so that whatever you're going to set this up with, any kind of laptop, it's going to work. So... We have a type A to type C USB cable. I'm gonna go through them all. We've got um, what appears to be a uh, type C. It's not appears to be with a 90 degree angle. This is clearly going to be for connecting to uh, the S17. Then we have another one. These I presume are for each 
particular monitor, and they do actually write on each cable what they are. Another smart move from FQQ. And this appears to be our wall adapter. And it is with a type A USB port on it. And then we have some HDMI cables. So we have two HDMI cables, as well as, what is this one here? Another type A to type C USB cable, a little cleaning cloth, and the actual user guide. So FQQ so far, so good. I mean, they're covering their bases in terms of documentation. Really all the things that people expect when they spend you know, a sizable amount of money on a solution like this. So let me go ahead and essentially pack this up. I'm going to close it up and we're going to take a look at the actual system and I'll see if I can just throw it on to a monitor now. Um, I will attempt to use their included cables as well because after all that's how we determine how well they've done um, in terms of making this product plug and play right out of the box. I will bring it into frame but I did want to show everyone what it actually at least looked like. So you know this is where your laptop, the back of your display will be paired. And then let's just take a look at the IO before I actually put this together and pull off all of the, the plastic uh, covering. So um, on the actual, there's nothing on the top or bottom of this, as you can see, except for the kickstand. But when the panels are folded out, the IO is revealed. And by the way, it does extend something that I just did. And that is how you're going to adapt it to your laptop. That is the, you know, the space, um, uh, essentially the range of motion this has to expand to accommodate that 15 to 17 inch panel uh, spectrum. Now, right here, I'm trying to get it in frame. We have all of our ports and there's not a great way of doing this. I'm going to see if the other side is a little bit more forgiving and it is. So as you can see clearly power button, I, I assume Volume rocker, I also assume, but this could just be for menu navigation. And then we have a Type-C uh, as well as an HDMI and then another Type-C. Now this Type-C port has a little LED, which means power delivery. I mean, that's usually the way things work. This would be the actual display delivery. So we'll see. I'm going to try to set this up right now um, and get it on camera and then we'll, we'll see how this works. You now see there is our triple display setup. And of course you can customize this however you may need um, as you would expect. Um, if you don't want, if you want it to be an extension of the desktop, mirror of the desktop, that's really up to you. But as you can see, um, you know, it's, it's fairly straightforward. And it looks like the orientation on these right now, I, I will have to do uh, a little bit of tweaking because it's mirroring this one and extending on the right side. And that probably has to do with just the way uh, the Legion, you know, decided it was going to utilize the monitors. But that's pretty much it. Again, fit and finish on this. It looks nice. It does what it's supposed to. Um, of course, the cable management, I could have, you know, you can do a cleaner uh, or it can be done in a more clean fashion than what I've done here. Um, so it's really up to you how you want to do it. But I think it is pretty clean. Um, it looks good. I like the finish on it, and from what I can tell, the most important part, the panel quality seems pretty good. You know, uh, I, I'll have to play with it more and uh, see how things function, but again, unboxing and first look, I think that FQQ did a nice job with this, and this is going to accommodate anyone who's looking to have a triple monitor set up on their 15 to 17 inch existing laptop, and ideal for people who want to travel light but still are not looking to compromise when it comes to having a multi-monitor setup. So kudos to FQQ. Um, I will be testing this out further. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.